Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today is a beautiful day. It's beautiful weather. The summer is soon ending, so I've chosen this part because it's very beautiful. So I love the view, everything. There is a mountain up there, so I chose this spot to take my video from here. I'm with my lovely baby. Today, I want to talk about the difficulties we face uh, in interracial relationships. What are some of the, the difficulties we face as interracial couples? There are quite a number of them, and I'll break down all of them. Like, uh, I'll give you five points. And then you can continue from there. If you have something to say, just drop it in the comment section below. One important thing is the in-laws. We are both from different countries. We are from different races. So the in-laws expect a lot from us. Sometimes you, you are not going to deliver exactly what they want from you because um, you're not from that culture so there is a lot you don't know but the perception they have about you is kind of, I don't know, do they think we are angels or something? They expect a lot from us. You don't have to make a mistake. You cannot do anything otherwise because you have them at your back to always tell you what is wrong and what is right. That comes with perception. Inglows and perception is literally the same thing for interaction. Uh, another point is um, we have criticism. Criticism. Some of us come from countries that are not highly developed, like the ones we've married from. They're not so developed, I should say. So um, you will kind of find uh, criticisms in the way your country is. For example, your country is not well developed. People will think, oh, you married so and so because of money. You married him for papers. You married all those kind of things will come along the way. But that's not it. Love is love, is love regardless of where you come from regardless of you are who you are regardless of anything it's love so you should stop criticizing guys because we love our partners it's not for the papers it's not because their countries are developed that we want to live in their countries and a lot that comes with criticism you know anything just drop it in the comment section below another thing is about language well language comes with communication um for the past one year two years i should say i've been trying to learn uh, another language which is not my language i've been trying i've really tried hard but it's still hard for me to come i mean communicate with koreans because it's not my language you do not expect me to know the language in just Two months like someone who has lived here their whole life some applies to english you don't know english you just started studying english so you don't expect to know the basics critiques and everything about english even if you studied it in high school it's not your language you're just getting introduced to a culture that is different from yours so language comes in as a problem because people expect you to have learned the language in the six months you've lived here or one year you've lived here. But honestly, it's not something you can wake up to one morning and you say, oh, I know the language, I love the language, blah, 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 and all that. So it's not something that you come, language is not something that you're going to wake up one morning and you're perfect in the language which doesn't belong to you. It's not something you... Like I was saying, language, sorry, language is not something you wake up to one morning and you say you're perfect in a language. It's not something that you can wake up to be perfect in. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes energy. Yes, I'm trying really hard. And so far, I am on level two. That's the highest I've gone up to. Another 
thing is like, you know, I try to put language with communication, but it almost goes the same way. Communication and uh, cultural differences. All these points are kind of interrelated, interrelated because they do not fall far from each other. Communication. For example, when uh, someone comes in your house, <laughs> this is how you know the the people who are you know the people who clean up the people who come to spray the toilets disinfect the toilets disinfect the houses during the summer season for bugs not to come in the houses these people just come in and you know they'll be like they're walking in your house they'll not say a word to you they'll just do what they have to do <laughs> they'll not have any communication with you so if it is to disinfect the toilets, they'll go disinfect the toilets, do whatever they have to do, and leave your house. There is no communication with them. There is no kind of interaction with them. It is just plain. If it is work, it is work. Nothing else. Communication. Uh, culture differences. Uh, what is good in my culture is not good in another culture person's culture what i consider uh, relevant in my culture is considered irrelevant in other people's cultures so in most in most cases you find that you have you have you tend to clash they call it clashing because what you believe is right someone else could not believe is right depending on the culture differences what i believe is funny it is rude to other people so it is kind of uh, it kind of brings clashing you know in these interracial marriages interracial relationships and wherever you are it is very it takes a lot of patience for you to live with someone whom you have not lived with for the past half of your life this is someone you've met halfway in your life and you're going to live with them for the rest of your life so you have to cope up who they are what kind of behaviors they have what kind of personality they grew up with so you have to do that to incorporate their their personality into your personality if you want to live together for the rest of your lives so another <laughs> important factor is time you know in my in my country you know it's funny but in my country, time is important to people who work in offices. But the regular people, they don't take time as something serious. But you know, here, it so happens that time is important for everyone. If you are supposed to meet someone in the specific time, for example, you're supposed to meet someone at 1.30, you have to be there by 1.26 or earlier than that because time is very important to them they consider time as everything time is they tell you that every time lost is money lost so time is very important to them so that's all i have to talk about today if you have anything to say or if you have to contradict if you have any opinions about what i say just drop it in the comment section but remember not to be rude we wherever you find love is where your heart is love i mean heart is where they say love is where the heart is so wherever you find love it's okay wherever whoever with whoever you find love is okay just just learn to appreciate each other just learn to love each other regardless of the rest they come from regardless of the the cultures they come from regardless of who they are it still remains love i'm signing out bye bye love you see you in the next one